All right, guys, back with part two of our galvanic cell uh, review. We're going to be looking at uh, the second parts of this question I gave you, D, E, and F. Um, so it asks us to calculate a standard cell potential or a standard cell voltage. Whenever we're doing that, so it's asking part D, is we're adding together whatever the potential is for the one half cell, the aluminum, and the other half cell, the copper in this case. That is, to get the overall E for my cell, I want to add together E for oxidation plus E for the reduction. Now you're only ever given reduction potentials, right? So whatever one is being oxidized, we got to flip around. So if we're looking at our problem, or rather, if we're looking at our overall equation, aluminum is going to aluminum 3 plus, copper 2 plus is going to copper. Well, copper is being reduced. That's this half right here. The aluminum is being oxidized. That's a different one. That's this one, but it's this one reversed. And so if we're going to have to flip the aluminum around to make it be oxidized, you're going to have to change the sign of the potential. In this case, it's negative. We would flip it to be a positive. If it was positive, you flip it to be negative. So we're going to add together. Well, who's being oxidized? That's the aluminum. So this voltage is 1.66. That's the potential on the oxidation half. We're adding it to the half that has the uh, reduction, which is the copper, which is 0 0.34, which gives you 2.00 volts, volts for the overall cell potential. And you would want to support that with your calculation. So it doesn't say it here, but because it says calculate, you need to put the calculation in, not just an answer. Okay. The second part of this says indicate whether your standard free energy, your delta G for this cell, is positive, negative, or zero. Well, that is another equation for us, right? Our delta G for any cell is going to be equal to negative NFE. Now, we don't really have to put anything into this equation, but if we look up here, we're finding a delta G for this, whether it's positive, negative, or zero. Well, because your voltage is positive, right? That's your potential. That's going to give you a negative for delta G. So all galvanic cells wind up having a positive value for the cell potential and a negative value for your delta G. So we want to say that delta G is negative and it's negative because the cell potential is po positive. We can also say that it has a, um, it's thermodynamically favored, that it is, it's going to, galvanic cells are going to run um, and be spontaneous, which would be a negative value of delta G. So that was a little bit of calculation here. This one you just really want to justify with the equation. I would say make sure you have the equation in that so you can explain mathematically why it has to be that way. Uh, for part F, um, it says, what happens if we were to replace the copper with zinc? So how is that going to change our cell potential? So let's come back up here. Here was our equation. We had copper. And they're saying, all right, let's change this to be zinc. We see that zinc has negative 0.76. So we're going to use our same thing we used before, E for the cell equals E for oxidation plus E for reduction except we're going to have a different uh, reduction here. So the aluminum, that part's the same. This was going to be 1.66. But now we're adding it to zinc. Zinc has a negative value for reduction. That's going to be negative 0.76. And if we add those together, that's going to give us, what is that going to give us? That's going to give us 0 0.90 volts still positive, right? It's still a positive number, but it's going to be less positive than it was previously. Um, in this case it says, what would the value of your standard free energy, delta G, is that going to increase, decrease, or remain the same? So once you found the E for the cell, the fact that this is going to be a lower number, let's get our equation back, delta G equals negative NFE, if we have a smaller value for E, a less positive value, that means our delta G is going to be less negative. So I would even write it that way. Rather than just saying increase, decrease, I would say delta G will increase, or I would say be less 
negative to specify my meaning. Right? So looking at the value of our equation, and again, you want to justify it with the equation. You have a lower E, which means you're going to have a less negative delta G. Okay, and I'll come back with the last part, uh, part G, to talk about the actual calculating with uh, current and moles.